Imperfection is perfection. I've come to know this only recently. Back when I was growing up in high school, I was made fun of really early on because I had the hairiest arms in my class. I remember one day we had a field trip out at the beach and um, I was wearing a t-shirt and all my friends started making fun of me going, oh my God, look at your arm here, it's so weird, it's so weird. And uh, this carried on actually. I, uh, for years I've been commented on how hairy my arms are. And it's always brought up some insecurity in me, like, oh, there must be something wrong. Maybe I should shave my arm hair, you know? And these thoughts go through your head and you just start doubting yourself and how you look. And um, every time I'd look in the mirror, I'd make a point of not looking at my arm hair because it's like, ah, you know? And also not wearing t-shirts regularly because very self-conscious about how my arm hair looks. Well, fairly recently, one day, I was washing my hands at the sink and I started looking at my hands and up my arms and something just shifted in me. It's like a light switch went on and I just started appreciating the fact that these hands and these, this arm hair has been like keeping me warm my whole life and it's just, it's a miracle that all of this works together. Our fingernails, our bodies, they're, they're these incredible designs and so often we, we spend these time, we spend this time beating ourselves up, you know, and telling ourselves we need to get better, we need to look better, we need to look like that person on the front cover of the magazine which is actually airbrushed most of the time, by the way. And when we start really truly realizing that this isn't imperfection, arm hair, well, it's not imperfection, it's actually a brilliant design to keep me warm in a cold Canadian winter where I live, and, and on and on. It's really truly accepting ourselves for who we are and realizing that we are perfect and our bodies are perfect, and to accept ourselves without having to beat ourselves up and criticize ourselves. You know, there's such perfection in being imperfect. This is embracing who we truly are. So how do we perfectly accept ourselves fully as imperfect, according to what? According to our minds? This is how we do it. And this is not an easy practice to do, but it's, it is a practice, and it's a practice of being okay with who we are. I'd invite you every day to set a timer on your phone, stand in front of the mirror, and just look at yourself. Look at your body, look at your face. And if you get really good at this, start speaking words to yourself of love. I love you, you're amazing, you're beautiful. And speaking these words out loud, I guarantee the first thing that will come up is a voice in your head or a feeling in your body that says, no you're not, what are you talking about? You're not beautiful, you could be so much better, blah, blah, blah. I call this the saboteur voice, the inner critic voice, if you will. This is the part of us that's holding us back from truly accepting our perfection, our real perfection. <laughs> our perfection isn't in an airbrushed magazine. Remember, your perfection is standing in front of the mirror and going, I am absolutely beautiful. You know, our thoughts and our bodies are so connected. And when we feel beautiful in our minds and our bodies, we are in alignment. We move through the planet feeling so much better about ourselves. So remember, this is a practice. Set your timer, five minutes today, look in the mirror and just say, I love you, you're beautiful, and feel it, feel it in your body. Move into the feeling of it. Be well and know that you are loved.